All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. The first thing I want to do is to pay my respects to a good friend of mine who just passed away. Now, he was 84. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this video is because of him. We have a discussion a lot about what you saw in the thumbnail, stapling Romex to a stud. We've had a lot of discussion about this. And what I'm gonna tell you, what I like to do, and I'll show you what he likes to do, and neither one of them are wrong. But there are a few things that you need to be aware of. Now, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get the business out of the way, and that is to give me a thumbs up. Also subscribe if you haven't. Hit that bell notification to all so you get all of my videos when they come out. Now, let's talk about where you can't put a piece of Romex as far as stapling it, all right? And obviously there's reasons why. You cannot staple a piece of Romex to the edge of a stud, whether it be open forever and ever or whatever. You need to go into the inside of this stud. And I'll bring the camera in closer and show you guys what I'm talking about when we get to this point. Now, the discussion that we've had was how tight do you drive the staple to the Romex? Now, me, I prefer to drive it where it's pretty tight where you can still pull it but not like where it's kind of loose like this, all right? I like it where you gotta, you know, give some tension to pull it. Now, the code does read, there's really no code on it, but the code does read that, you know, you don't want to tighten it down so tight that it actually hurts the jacket of your cable and then digs into your cable because that is what your arc fault breakers, one of the reasons why you have arc fault breakers in your home. Electricians, uh, used to drive staples deep into the stud and it would pierce the jacket and over time as this thing would heat up cool down heat up and cool down you know using your little uh, quartz heaters or your hair dryers repeatedly over and over again what would happen was you know this would start to get warm and then it would separate and then it would sit there and arc on your staple catch the wood on fire your house burns up so that is one reason why they have arc ball breakers. All right, so they make a staple that I like to use and uh, it kind of prevents a little bit of that arcing. And I'm gonna show you what they are. You can drive them pretty good. You can drive them pretty tight because they've got this little buffer zone on it. Let me show you what they look like. All right, so the brand is Viking Hinga Dinga Durgan. And uh, I'll leave a, that's funny. I just saw, it just has the new fat man. No, I'm the new fat man. I will leave a link to these down below where you can go to Amazon and pick these up. And anything that you see in this video, I will leave a link down below so you can pick it up. If you decide to buy it, it will help my channel grow. It won't cost you a dollar more to get it on your own. And this is the old staple that I used to use a lot. Now, it's got a little rust on it because it's been in my garage forever. Now, I'm gonna tell you my preference on staples. They sell half inch and they sell 9 16 These are the 9 16 I do not like the half inch. It's just me. So, but you see this blue bushing kind of like thing on here. I mean, it encapsulates this piece of Romex. You can see here, so if I can get you in frame here. So technically it covers the whole entire deal where it's not really gonna hurt your Romex. Now, these are rounded and flat. So they're flat on the bottom or the inside and then they got kind of a beveled edge so it doesn't dig into your uh, Romex. However, if you drive it home, chances are it's still gonna pierce the skin if you go too deep. And that's just with any staple. Now this one, not so much. Uh, I'm not gonna say you can't do it because I know you can, but it's, it acts as a, just a bushing, like I said, it costs a little bit more, but I'm just saying it, it helps. So let's talk about how much I like to put it in here and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. All right, if my content has given you guys any value, please make sure that you hit that thumbs up. This is your second chance to try it. All right, now I will say that you can use your clients to drive the staples on home, but we're not going to. So let's talk a little bit. I'm not really going to a whole lot of code issue stuff here. If you guys wanna know code stuff, uh, hit me up and we'll talk about that later on. But what you wanna do is try to get close to the middle of the stud as you can. Obvious reasons, right? If the screw comes through here, they use a longer screw, what have you, that you don't want to get your Romex pierced. All right, so let's go ahead and run the first staple in now. I'll show you how my buddy used to do it. All right, he would put a staple in, like so. And 
And that's about all he would go. Now let me bring the camera and show you guys what I'm talking about. You see how much space is in between there? I mean, that's about where he would do it. Sometimes he'd do a little tighter, but that's about it. All right, and myself, what I like to do is I like to do this right here. All right. That way, I mean, you see how I told you? I can pull it, right? But it's tight, it's good, and it's, it's not, I mean, look, you can see on this piece of Romex here that it's not compromised whatsoever. I mean, it's clearly not been hurt at all. So we'll put it back in and I'll bring the camera over here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now you see the difference? This is probably almost about where he would put it, maybe just a little bit closer, but he didn't really want to have, it probably would be a little bit closer than what I have it, but he wouldn't really want to put it super close to the wall. Not, and I respected that. So what do you guys think? How would you guys staple? Would you do it like the first one or the second one? Just curious to know. Drop down in the comments and leave me how you would do it. All right, guys, I'm going to end it right here. I hope that that Maybe if you thought about, you know, am I doing it too much? Am I doing it too less? There's really no code. What you just don't want to do is you don't want to pierce the Romex. And let me show you what it looks like when you do that. Now that is what you don't want to see. You see how the Romex is compromised? It is, it is very, I mean, you can kind of see where the yellow has started getting white because it's so tight. I've seen this so many times, so many times, guys, that you don't want to see it. I'm going to pull this Romex piece back off here I'm going to show you what it looks like so you can see what I'm talking about. So that's what happens. You see that right there? That's what happens when you have it staple too tight. And eventually, over time, it will possibly, I'm not going to say will, but it more than likely could. So you just don't want to do that because you're compromising the jacket and the insulation. What we're going to do is we're going to strip us off. We're going to see what it looks like. And this is the other piece, first piece that I had. You can kind of see that there is absolutely... No marks on here whatsoever. I mean, I don't know if you can really see it in the camera, but there's really nothing on here that says it was stapled. Except me telling you. Let's strip this out and see what happened. All right, I got it cut. Let's see. pull it out here and see. All right, here's the jacket, as you can see. And the wire. So the wire looks like it's been, right here you can see, it's been kind of pushed down a little bit. And then the neutral, the neutral looks a little bit more pushed in than the, um, the hot did. Of course, the ground really doesn't matter too much, but I don't know if you can see it or not in the camera, I can't focus, but you can kind of see where it's been compromised. What we don't want to do is we do not want to put the staple in too deep for obvious reasons, right? I'm gonna leave it right here, guys. If this content has given you any value, uh, please make sure that you smash that thumbs up. This is strike three. If you hadn't done it already, go ahead, drop down and do it. I really would appreciate it. Uh, leave me a comment. Uh, make sure you subscribe. Uh, make sure that you watch all my videos and keep coming back. Guys, if there's something specific that you want to see, 2023 is going to be a big year for me. So definitely drop down in the comments. Leave me a message down there. Say, now near outdoors, I really want to see this, or I really want to see that, because I've written down everything that everybody's wanted to see, and I'm really working on that. Now, some of the things I'm not going to do, but most of the things I am. So, all right, if you want to see what happens next, make sure you like and subscribe. God bless, and we will see you on the next one. Have a great day.